In today's video, we are going to be pressure washing the engine bay in my C5 Corvette. So the block, the engine is out. And right now I have the block sent out to a machinist and they're gonna take a look at everything, make sure it's good to go. And if we need to hone or bore anything out, we're gonna go ahead and get all that done. But I figured while we have a lot of space in the engine bay, why not clean it up? It has a ton of dirt. It's really gross, it's really dirty. Before I bought it, it was leaking oil everywhere. So the engine's dirty thus everywhere in the engine bay is dirty. So we're just gonna go ahead and get it cleaned up today. Before I can get started doing that, I have to put the suspension and everything on the front back together because I had to lower the front subframe or K-frame to really be able to pull the engine up out of the engine, well, engine bay. We are also testing some audio. We have some microphones on us today. I know I've had a couple comments on audio and whenever I'm editing, adjusting my audio levels is very interesting. So we're gonna go ahead and try this out, see how it is, see how it is editing. Um, so just let me know in the comments what you think. I kind of can't really think of another way to get started than just popping in here to get started. All right, let's start by taking out the exhaust. Manifolds. Ugh. Oh, there we go. So I have a jack and a piece of wood underneath the K-frame. I don't know if you all can see it very well. So I'm gonna jack up a piece of wood holding the K-frame, which will lift the entire K-frame, which even has the power steering rack on it. There we go. Okay, going right back up really easy. All right, we have the K-frame jacked up pretty good. And then I'm gonna get our subframe bolts up in here. All right, that's all up. I'm gonna reconnect the steering shaft actually while I'm here, cause I'm gonna need that to work. Okay, so our steering shaft is reconnected. Um, our subframe reconnected. Gosh, some of these wires are gross, ew. Not only are we testing out some, well, I took the microphones off, but for this segment, it's okay. But we got new pink nitro gloves and they're technically hairdresser or medical examination gloves. But we're gonna be testing them out in the garage because they literally, match the Corvette and I'm obsessed. Like my favorite character is me when I have matching gloves to my race car. <laughs> it's the little things in life that uh, make me happy. <laughs> For our next step, we have, like I said, the K-frame. I wouldn't say it's torqued down, but um, next we're gonna get the struts back up and connected to the car. My Fortune Auto coilovers are just kind of hanging out at the moment. So. We're gonna work this coil over into there we go. So we got the coil overs, the fortunate coil overs back on on each side, the driver and passenger. We're gonna go ahead and get our wheels and tires on, and then we can probably put the car on the ground. Wheels on. So we have the Corvette as if it's a rolling chassis at this point. We have wheels and tires on, the K-frame and everything is on. So I can put it on the ground and push it under its own weight, which means that I will be able to pressure wash all of this filth, disgusting filth. Like I've cleaned this once before already and there's just so much dirt everywhere. And I figured, why not? We're here. I got space. I got time. 
kind of on time. But I started this project late today for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and go home, come back refreshed, and I basically wanted to go ahead and get this project started, get the Corvette on its own wheels and weight where it's pushable. And tomorrow I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to get this thing pressure washed. And we're back next day, same clothes, same look, but we're here. I'm refreshed, got some sleep, and it's daylight outside. I brought my pressure washer to go ahead and get this thing pressure washed. We have it on its own weight on the wheels. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the little lift legs here and see how heavy it is. I might be able to push it by myself. If not, Brandon 840 Customs is coming over to help me just in case I need an extra hand. And obviously we love Brandon. He's great, good time. And I don't know if you guys know, he has an amazing Roadmaster build, which is so cool. You guys definitely need to check out, by the way. Huge build last year, but I'll link it down below. You guys go ahead and check it out. Oh, wow, the sun is shining. So we have, like I said, we got 840 Customs, Brandon is in the house. You want to show us how easy it is to move? I haven't moved it yet. Cake. Okay, so um, I have my doors open. We're just gonna literally pop it right out here because there's a spigot right there. That'll be great. Wow, it's so easy. All right. Rolling, rolling, rolling. What? Actually, it's still probably just go straight back. Stopping it is not as easy. It has moved before. Is that you? Yeah. <laughs> I thought that thing was out of here. I got it, I got it. We'll place your toes. All right, we're so official. Man, it looks good outside. I forget how good this car looks. So now that we're in the daylight, you can very see how filthy everything is in here. I'm excited to get this thing clean. It's gonna look so good. First off, we don't have our mic hooked up, so sorry for audio, but we are removing the battery and we are purposely not spraying any electronics just so everybody knows, and there's no anticipation of starting this car or turning anything on within a while. A while. So if anything does get wet, it'll evaporate into the air. So we have the hose, we have the hose hooked up. So I brought uh, some G Technique stuff too, some brushes to use. Uh, I don't think I'll be using the G Wash or iron there, just in this bucket. I have a citrus all purpose cleaner, which I have pre-diluted here. And we'll go ahead and spray the whole engine with that, let it soak, and then get frisky with all of it. So I just like go for it, spray all the things. Dirt. Dirt. I bought it for the color and it ends up being way more high maintenance than I thought it'd be. What did we learn? I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't work. It legit doesn't work. It doesn't want to work. Thanks, China. Honestly, the pink gloves are holding it way better than I thought they were. I have not had a single breakage. So Amazon, fuchsia pink, hair stylist gloves, pretty bomb. Woo. Oh, this is on. Correct. Yeah, thanks. This is working so well. This is genius for everybody who doesn't have electronics in their car at the moment. It looks so good already. I can do this for 
power. Brandon's giving her the beads. Huh? Brandon's giving her the beads now. Woo! So Brandon is giving this what? 8.5. On, on the cleanliness scale of how super nice and clean it is. Yeah. I think I think that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with eight and a half. That's a solid number. I'm surprised at how well this came out. This component was just covered. Oh, there's still some. I'll get that. It was covered in power steering grease. And a lot of this stuff was. I think this looks fantastic. We didn't even use any brushes or any detail brushes, which I'm kind of happy about because I knew that those detailed brushes would be ruined. The G Technic All Citrus Purpose, what up, said that wrong, All Purpose Citrus Cleaner and the pressure water, pressure washer did magic. So this is, this is nice. I love this. I think the only other thing that could really make this better is a leaf blower to help blow out everything, but it's not gonna be moved, not gonna be turned on and Utah's pretty dry, so it should evaporate and dry up fairly quickly. Having fun? Uh, I can explain. <laughs> Hold on, wait, <laughs> leave it your mark. All right, so the car is back. Everything is put away. As you can see, our daylight is going away very soon. So I'm actually gonna go get some dinner, but I'm happy that the engine bay is now clean, a lot less oil. I can go in and really detail the minor stuff, like spots that we missed or wiring harnesses that still have a lot of oil residue on them. But overall, really happy with this. Highly recommend if you have the ability to and aren't, you know, isn't gonna ruin anything. Anyways. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. And thank you so much for tuning in to my videos. Say bye, Brandon. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.